Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we are going to be doing a uh, Edge of Whatever hard run as a level 15 field medic, and uh, we're going to be getting the HRG incision, and then soloing this with that, because that is, it's just, I just did a run with it. Oh, we've got like high jumps or something, I don't know. Uh, but I just did a run with it, so I wanted to mess around with it and see how it felt. And it is a bizarre weapon. I don't get why it exists, <laughs> um, to be completely honest. I don't really understand the point of it. Like, who would want to use it? I mean, it's, it's, it's an acceptable weapon. It's just... I feel, I feel like if, if you want to do what that weapon can do, then you shouldn't be playing as a medic. It maybe for like solo medic it's fine, but I mean like honestly medic isn't that great solo. So you shouldn't really be doing that too much anyway. Um but yeah, it's 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 a it's a really weird weapon. I don't So I wanna do a video on it. It's just a hard, so we're probably gonna be completely fine with it. Um But yeah. I also wanna to try to get into more Killing Floor 2 videos. There isn't really any good... Okay. There are a lot of good KF2 players who make YouTube videos, but there aren't really any good KF2 YouTubers. You know, like good YouTubers who make KF2 videos rather than good KF2 players who make YouTube videos. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm a good YouTuber, but I feel like if that's something that I want, then at the very least I can, I can try to be that. So I'm going to try to do more KF2 videos. Not the best at the game, but... Maybe I'm more entertaining than watching, you know, control difficulty stuff. There is some motion blur. I, I feel like motion blur is turned on. I turned on, um, motion blur is off. I have this thing, but it shouldn't be doing anything. So I don't have any presets actually doing anything, right? I wanted to try out like this crosshair thing. Um, I saw some YouTuber doing that, and I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like it. But there is this like blur effect when I uh, move the camera, like depth of field almost. I don't know. I don't like it. Oh, it's fine. I'm saying I'm gonna try to fill this. This gap with the KF2 YouTubers. This video is going to be the first one, and we are going to be going for this uh, incision as soon as we can get it. Yeah, it's just it's, it's weird. It's like it's the rail gun, except it heals, and you don't have the auto lock on, and your darts actually do like enough damage to be usable. So you, you, you think it only has 30 bullets, but it actually has, like, far more than that. It's like the M99, but um, you get unlimited, like, weaker shots with it, you know? Which, I'm not sure if it's a good thing, because, like I said, I mean, you shouldn't be doing that as the medic. I mean, it... The darts themselves aren't good for healing. They're good for attacking, but not so much for healing. And since that's kind of the point of medic, to be a healer, you know, medic, um, I feel like it's just a bad medic weapon. But a fun weapon to use, nonetheless. I enjoy it. It's, since I've uh, discovered it, it is becoming my favorite weapon in Killing Floor, but that, that isn't to say that I would uh, recommend anybody actually use it. I'm not sure. Maybe in high level gameplay it's fine because as a medic you shouldn't be attacking stuff either. So having something to pop off the bloats or husks or something that you see might be good, but I don't know. I feel like it's just bad. I feel like there's no point for it. I don't have a team to play with in higher level uh, 
killing floor anyway. Not that I think I would want to very often anyway, because I like hopping into, like, one of my favorite things to do is hop into, like, a normal match when I'm level 25 medic, or at least level 15, which I am now, thankfully. Um, and then kind of, like, carry the team. I mean, it's, it's not good for the players, because they learn bad habits, because they get kept alive by a good medic, but I mean, it's not my problem. <laughs> That's their problem. I enjoy it, so I do it, you know? Um, that's just one of my favorite things, because it's so satisfying to see Perfect. how you're keeping them alive and uh, carrying the, the team. It's one of the most satisfying things, I think, in the game. Um, there's, all, there's that, and then there's also being a medic in a not high-level team, but like competent team. Um, knowing that you're pulling your weight and healing of people. I wish there was like a, a thing here, you know, oops. Kills, assist, dosh. I wish you could see heals. Um, we've got the weapon. This is this is the KF2's most bizarre weapon, in my opinion. I don't get it. These darts do like actually good damage, so you can destroy. You can kill everything in this wave without firing a single shot. As long as you get headshots, it actually like kills the weaker Zeds, which is just I don't really get it. Uh, these guys, though, I do try to fire proper shots at them because they're actually a little bit tankier. And since you don't have, like, a fast reload effectively, you know, um, I like to keep it one shot per Z when possible, right? Oops, I don't think that one hit. It is a, it's, it's like a really slow reload with no animation. It's, it's weird. I enjoy it. It's, this is one of my favorite playstyles since I've, uh, I've discovered it. Um, but it is, I don't know. I don't, I don't get why they added it. What's, what's the point of this weapon? Who needed this? You know? Uh, this as well. So we got a quarter pound. Um, rush coming in, I guess. That's okay. Gives us an opportunity to show off the power of this gun. Normally, if I can actually get the headshots here. Oh, I thought I hit you already. I guess I didn't. That's okay. That's not good. <laughs> hey, I thought I killed this one. Maybe there's two. I only saw one, but I mean, there was another one, so had to be right. I think it's two shots with the darts for a blow. I've already shot him once with the um. Proper thing. I don't think I got a headshot, but I think it's okay. It might be three shots or four. Uh, either way, bullets aren't too bad to take out with the darts. Anything that takes like three or four shots is something that you don't want to get in uh, abundance, at least. We can take the. Uh... Actually, I think I'll just upgrade this. Anything that takes three or four shots is. Um, because you only get one, two, and then three. Uh, so after that, it's kind of like waiting a really long time to take it. The third shot's not too bad. The, uh, the fourth shot is definitely... This is kind of a cheaty map. Um, I'm not going to deny that. I uh, just found this one on uh, some server that I was on, and I like it. But it is a bit of a cheaty map, because you do get... Tons of ammunition. That's why I picked it, because for the boss wave, we are actually going to need a little bit of extra ammunition, because I am bad and I can't aim, and especially if we get a bad boss like uh, the Matriarch, for instance, then we're really going to need that extra ammunition, because it's just going to take a lot of shots to actually kill 
matriarch and we don't have that much ammunition. Maybe if I took the right side of the tree, which I still haven't thought. I'm still on the left side of the tree. Let's wait until we can line this up. Beauty. Maybe if you had the... Uh, I'm not sure where the damage thresholds for this are because this guy should take two shots. And, um, I'm not sure, because he wasn't raging, right? But I guess that might be because of the EMP effect. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm not, like, there's a 20% damage from the level 20 perk, which I don't have yet. And I'm not sure if that perk is going to give you enough damage to one-shot Scrakes with the, this on hard. Definitely on, like... Suicidal or hell on earth. This would not really be a viable strategy um, Well viable perhaps but not Like I don't think you'd be able to do what I'm doing here as well as I'm able to do it anyway Oh crap Because on uh, suicidal and hell on earth you get a lot more health on the the big boys, which is uh, going to cause problems for you in the long run when it takes you just so many more shots to actually can't really hit them when they're going down the stairs. It just doesn't work for me. Is it two shots for a splash pound too? Okay, it might be that the 20% damage is actually the threshold for the scrakes then. I thought it was three, but I guess I must have missed a shot on every flesh pound I killed uh, last time. Because that's not bad, actually. Two shots is not bad at all. Oh, why'd you have to do that, bud? Two shots isn't bad for a flesh pound on hard. Maybe, maybe it would be viable on Suicidal Hell on Earth, then. I feel like it's probably the best option for, um, we're going to take this as a just in case because we can't really do anything else with our money anyway, but I'm going to do my best to not use it. Uh, I'm not sure where we want to hang out, but I think there's some ammo crates underneath these stairs and some more up on right there. Yeah. So there should be some underneath here as well. Yeah, this guy should be easy enough. I'm also not sure, I don't know like too much of the details about the effects between, um, are you down or high? You're high. Not sure what the different effects between, oh that was an awful shot. Not sure what the different effects between like the different types of weapons, like I know that uh, fire, fire will enrage uh, enemies and like cause like a uh, craze or um, Confusion, panic, you know, but I think that EMP might be like super good against uh, That wasn't the right thing to do. We're just gonna have to take it. I think Oh, no, we don't Okay, we're gonna have to take this one though, I think Yeah, almost definitely because I can't shoot apparently Nope, not gonna have to take that one either. Wow, I am bad. I feel like there might be like a um, bonus to damage against shields with electrical weapons like the railgun or um, what's the static strikers as the berserker, I believe. So yeah, that's the uh, the HRZ incision. It's a freaky weapon. Uh, I like it, but it is a freaky weapon. Not sure for what purpose it exists. But that's the HRG incision. It's fun. It's a fun weapon. Makes you feel like a sharpshooter, even though you're not a sharpshooter. You know.
And the medic really shouldn't be a sharpshooter, so I'm not sure why it exists, but... Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.